Hello everybody. It's good to see you on this Saturday afternoon. Uh, click the like button. Please subscribe and leave a comment. I appreciate it. Well, Putin blames the U.S. for getting China upset and again threatens the U.S. at the Moscow meeting. He mentions that Pelosi's visit to Taiwan was a mistake on the U.S. part. Well, I don't remember reading any press at all saying that she was headed for there in the first place. Did you all? If I, Maybe you did hear it. I must have missed it. Because I did not know it until she had already left to go there. And I wondered why her? Why would she choose to go there? Should have been President Biden? Vice President? Kamala Harris? Oh, well, Democrats mayor interrupts on Texas mayor Lightfoot press conference about 50 immigrants. Uh, well, here I go trying to read my writing again. Uh, going to Chicago from Texas on Labor Day weekend. And about states. Uh, being operations in April and also sending migrants to Washington, D.C. and New York City. He said his side was to counter the inactivity from, press, from President Biden and show the harm being done on Texas and Americans and Lightfoot just stress the support relief efforts on um, smaller towns and Chicago would join in effort to become a sanctuary. So he wanted them to all come together and make a sanctuary for all the immigrants. Okay, well, that sounds pretty good. But she mentioned is racist and unpatriotic. And the preserve the pressure on Texas is undeniable. The move is going to lead to a humanitarian crisis. The people are being treated without dignity. This behavior is not being American. Well, what are you supposed to do when Biden opened up the wall? I mean, they're going to come in and go to whatever town that they can go to. And they seem to be headed more or less for the bigger cities that are closer to them at this time, which makes common sense. But uh, the those being shipped down to Texas, they're having a fit now. Oh, boy. New York City Mayor Eric Adams made the remark and post the previous... That the entire operation is horrific. It is horrific. Those immigrants have been starved. You know, they've been locked up. They've, they've had their wives, their children taken away from them. Children taken away from the mothers. It is horrific. And look at the, those that have drowned trying to cross the Rio Grande. The children, the mothers, the fathers, whatever. Conservative leaders have repeatedly criticized Biden administration for causing the crisis in border cities for lack of strict immigration policies. Well, of course. All he did was open the border. You know? What else am I supposed to do? I opened up the border. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm sorry. It, it really isn't funny. But he's funny. Biden is just... Ugh. 
I just don't understand some things, but I try. Yes, I try. Well, the press secretary, Renee Ease, E-Z-E, -E, bounced back, strongly saying, the only horrific thing was the actions allowing border cities to be overran. If they wanted solutions, they needed to ask President Biden to secure the border. Huh? Why wasn't that done when he opened it up? Why hasn't he been to the border? I think I've answered, asked that question before. Oh well. Ah, uh, free bumper stickers, everybody. Free bumper stickers are out, I guess, and people are rolling in the aisles with laughter. Well, you know how you spell his name. B-I-D-E-N. The B stands for biggest. I stands for idiot. D stands for Democrats. E stands for ever. N stands for nominated. <laughs> well, it's the truth. You know, what, what, do you, what do you say? Stickers are free, limited supply. Go here now and claim yours. Right wing country news. Hope I don't get in trouble for saying that, but it was public to the public. If it's public to the public, how can we get blamed for copyrights? That's another thing I really don't understand, but oh well. I'm just new at this, remember. That doesn't mean a thing if I have to get in court for something. Oh, does it? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, dear. Worse than the Great Depression, gloom and doom for the U.S. economy. Yes, I agree there. Experts are predicting and is heading for a full-scale economic collapse. Worse than the greatest depression. Let's pray not. Let's pray not. COVID destruction, inflations, the threat of World War III. Oh my goodness. Leadership is nothing and it's driving faster and unpredicted economic Armageddon. U.S. dollar right now is on life support. They want to do away with that. You know, what are we going to do? I'm not, I can't, I'm poor. How am I going to buy Bitcoin or coin? Whatever they call that crap. You know, how are we going to do this if they do away with the dollar? So if they do away with the dollar, that means the five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollar bills, hundred dollar bills. How we? What are we going to have to spend so we can get our food, pay our rent, utilities, water? I don't get it. You know me. No words. International sanctions. Biden has given permission to Putin and Russia. To abandon the dollar. And some of them to open arms. To open arms of China. That is also looking away to destroy the power of the dollar. But he says, oh yeah, let's do this. Opened up his arms. To China? What's him and China got going on now? Something behind our backs that we don't even know about? <clears throat> oh my goodness. Well, this poor man, this is another subject, lost a million dollars to crypt crypto, I can't even hardly say that word, crypto, <laughs> super scam it's called pig butchering 
Now investment rackets popping up everywhere. Experts believe the global losses are in the billions. Please be careful. What you invest in, search that company until you can't search no more. Get two or three lawyers on it. Don't get busted. Financial wise. Honest to Pete, what else is going to happen to us? Woman called a man saying she found his number in her contacts. Yeah. Thought they were, uh, might be old colleagues. Hmm. And Cy, C-Y is his name. He's 52 years old. A man was from the Bay Area. He didn't remember her, but she was kind, cordial, and engaging. They ended up talking about food, subjects they liked, so forth and so forth. They had a very nice time. He told her about his ailing father, financial burdens. He didn't know how he was going to put his father uh, and treat him for his uh, medical needs as his father was needing and the financial was becoming just a little bit too much. And that was October 20, 21. By December of that year, Cy, C-Y, name of the man, had been conned out of one million dollars. Mm, that lady knew her business, didn't she? Oh my God. He was ruined, no doubt. No doubt. So when an offer to invest in anything, crypto, silver, and etc., be sure you get not one, but two lawyers, different locations to investigate it thoroughly. Yes, don't become a sigh. Especially these days, money ain't going nowhere anyway. You can't afford to lose a dime. I don't care how much you got in the bank. You can't afford to lose it. Oh my goodness. Yep. Don't get scammed. Complicating law enforcement efforts in the issue of human trafficking. Now that's where these scammers are coming from is what it's telling you. Human rights advocates say many of these scammers are victims themselves. They were lured, lured to countries across Asia for better jobs and living conditions. Then forced to run pig butchering scams, sometimes at the threat of violence to them. Often their passports and cell phones were taken away on arrival. My goodness. And they were just looking for a better life going on what somebody told them and then they turned them into criminals. It happens. We might not want to think about it, but it happens. Well, that was page four. Four lives lost so far. Loads are going to ashes. California is still in triple digits for temps. they are fires, they are forest. The animals in, that are in the forest had their homes in the forest. The people have been evacuated from their homes. Their homes are nothing. Everything going to ashes. My prayers go out to them. How terrific, sad. The, the grid is barely holding on. Now that their grid, grid is about to collapse from all of this pressure on it. It can't take it. 
And this is now that uh, the grid is weakened, will they make it through this weekend even? I mean, oh, how sad. It is hitting its limits. The people will be going through this heat over the weekend. Lord, help them. Blessed Jesus. Well, that's all for today. I plan on doing another video later on tonight. I got to go through some more notes and find out some more information. Pray for those out in California. And I did get a notice that Oregon, uh, the state of Oregon, is uh, starting to come down on their customers now too. They're running low on energy. You know, there'd be no air conditioning, no lights, no way to cook, no electricity. It just keeps going on and on and on. Pray for these poor people. Lord have mercy. And don't get scammed. God love you. Bye.